Most televisions we enjoy watching programmes and films on have the same main parts. This is a remote control. It has lots of buttons on it and we use it to turn the television off and on. We can also use the remote control to turn the sound level, called the volume, up or down, making it louder. Well, that's really loud now, isn't it? Or quieter. Now it sounds really quiet. But the biggest part of a television is this rectangle here. Do you know what it's called? It's called the screen. And when the television is turned off, the screen goes black. And when the television is turned on, the picture appears so we can watch a program. But how do the colours and pictures appear on the screen? I think we need to take a closer look. The screens on mobile phones, tablets and televisions are made up of thousands of tiny squares called pixels. Under a magnifying glass, one tiny pixel is a square block filled with colour. But if we zoom into the pixel closer than we can see with our eyes or a magnifying glass, each pixel is made from three different coloured lights called subpixels. The lights are red, green and blue. When all three lights are turned right down, the pixel will be black. When all three lights are at full brightness, the pixel will be white. When the three lights are turned up or down to different levels across the whole screen, we see millions of different colours. And all the tiny pixels together, filled with different colours, make the pictures we see on our screens. You should never sit too close or try to see the television pixels yourself, so I've got my special microscopic camera to look closely for us. The microscopic camera can see really tiny things and make them look much bigger. Let's use it to see if we can see the lights that make up a pixel on a television screen. But first, I'm going to pause the picture so that it stops moving. Now, let's put my microscopic camera on this white area just here and have a look at what we can see. Wow, look at that. We can see lots and lots of sets of coloured stripes. They are red, green and blue. These are the sub-pixels. And each set of those stripes makes up one pixel on the TV screen. Now, because these lights here are turned up to full brightness, our eyes see those pixels as the colour white. So now if I move the microscope to this black area of colour here, now the microscope can't see anything at all. That's because the lights in these pixels, the red, green and blue lights, have been turned right down. So the microscope can't see the pixels, but our eyes see that colour as black. If I try putting the microscope camera on this purpley colour there, look! Now we can see a lot of blue light and a little bit of red light. That's because blue and red make purple. And if I try to put the microscope on this orange area here, the microscope can see lots of red and a little bit of green light, and our eyes see that as orange. Now I want to try something. I'm going to press play so the pictures start moving again. And if the pictures are moving, the colours will change, so the light in the pixels should change too. Let's give it a go. Ah, there they went. Now we've got green lights, blue lights. <gasps> Green and blue, multicoloured. <laughs> the lights in the pixels are changing as the pictures move so that we can see millions of different shades of colour. When we watch a television screen, the pixels are much further away and we see those pixels as different colours. And those colours make up the pictures on the television screen.